What do we have here? No, it's not the D-Day landings from World War II. This is the Battle of Gallipoli. So it's basically World War I D-Day, just with a lot more dysentery. We've got a nice clean beach to land on. There's a small passage up here, and then right next to it, there's a larger passage, and everyone loves a secret, including me, and also, you know, I'm a simple man. I, I like tunnels, and this map has tunnels. Now, these bunker formations will be firing down onto the beach, and as the Commonwealth forces land and make their way up through the first passageway, they're then confronted by a long trench network, which basically signals another line of areas to die in. Assuming the Commonwealth soldiers get past all of that, they've then got to fight their way up this hill, or fight their way through this hill, and then they've got to clear out all the units inside, and if you didn't already spot it, I mean, I said I like a tunnel, and I was not joking, there's another tunnel, oh, and it's a nice tunnel. So, the deployment phase. First things first, Ottoman riflemen. Let's make sure these guys are like nice and close to the bottom of the bunker to make sure they can actually fire over it. I suppose actually these guys here might not be able to, but the guys on the other side should be fine. And then let's do the same thing on the other ones. And then we'll also get like a second line of defenses back here. So we'll just get a couple of these guys dotted around, maybe three or four of these little formations. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be a lot of units on the back. Oh my, it's, it's a massive, it's still going. There's still, there's still more trench. And we'll also get a couple of guys defending this, but we'll actually, no we won't. To make this battle more interesting, let's pretend they, they somehow didn't see the big giant tunnel under their base. And then we'll send a bunch of bayonetters up there and it should make for an interesting battle. Now, let's come to the top of the hill here, get some more riflemen down. Fingers crossed he dies a painful death, it's a small head. <laughs> we'll also get a bayonet charge coming down here, so we'll get like the Ottoman reinforcements that are gonna like make their way down this valley and join the battle, although they will just get stuck on a stay banner, but still. It's the thought that counts. Let's get some cavalry for the Ottomans as well. Let's make sure there's like a little bit of cavalry joining the battle. And we also need to get cannons. So let's get one there. Oop. There. Oh, it's not sure, is it? You know, actually, this is a nicer area for him. Let's stick him there. Then let's get another one there. Let's just get one right at the top of the hill over there. Now, don't forget about the lovely tunnel we have down here. We're going to take our Ottoman officer and we're going to stick him in here. Again, seeing as this is totally accurate battle simulator, I'd love to be able to rotate the camera to place units, but instead, we've kind of just got to shimmy around inside like this because you know, reasons. So let's get some like decent defenders for this guy. These guys are going to be like the highly trained veterans, I guess. Wow, I, I just spotted this. What the hell has happened here? Yeah, again, there's been a couple of... <laughs> what What even is this? What are you doing? I look forward to seeing this guy in battle. Let's see what the other cannon's doing over here. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's slightly less broken, but I mean, it's not It's not great, is it? Look at his eyes. Did he just look at me? Is he looking for help? He's literally like, please, bro. Okay, so 125 defenders for the Ottoman faction have been placed along the fortifications. I think it's time to put the British soldiers. And first things first, I think we've got to come over here and we've got to get down our cheeky little chargers down here. Let's make sure they've got plenty of bayonets to support them in there. Yeah, up this like big open section, let's go for like a huge cavalry charge because somehow this cavalry, I don't know, made it over from these boats. <laughs> Not entirely convinced that would float, but okay. Ooh, also, I suppose it is an Anzac. It's a Commonwealth invasion, so let's get a couple of Anzac troops down, yeah? Let's get a cannon there, and I should have known. I should have known. I really don't know why I expected them to, to, to function as, as it, <laughs> you know, as they should. I, I'm not too sure what he's doing, and should I be showing that on YouTube? Hmm. Uh, okay, okay, no, he's done. He's finished. Wait, that's not what I meant. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's get the spam charge over here, boys, shall we? Okay, so 160 units versus this Gallipoli formation. Okay, slow motion as per usual, because I, I want to see if these cannons do anything, actually. Is he gonna get a kill, or is he gonna... Oh my god, wow. He might look totally stupid, but he got a big old kill there. Also, let's just see. Yes, they're going under. Let's go, boys. Go, go, go. Let's see them coming out the other side. Oh my god, okay. They are actually in the enemy's formation, in the trenches. Let's have a look along the battle line, see how the rest of the units are doing. I mean, to be fair, the Ottomans are doing a pretty good job. How many British soldiers actually died in the beginning? Not many of them. Look at these boys. I mean, they're now dying in this big choke point area here, but to be honest, they did a pretty good 
good job getting out of that. Oh, but the Bayonetta reinforcements for the Ottomans have turned up. Let's see. It's going to get messy quickly. I mean, it's, it's already messy. I don't know what that commentary was. Let's see. The last Ottoman defenders in these bunkers are going down. And actually, I hadn't even paid attention, but some of the British Bayonetters charging up the stairs only to get stuck on the wall. Ooh, I just actually thought to myself, let's look over here. Did any of the British soldiers get in here and take down the Ottoman officer? They did. Everyone... Oh, I was going to say everyone, but the banner bearer is dead, but no, he's dead too. Okay, let's have a look outside here. The Yeah, this map, honestly, really impressed. The, the pathfinding on this map, ooh. For the most part, other than this here, the pathfinding has worked very nicely. But this is only a couple of the units. Oh, okay, no, they're building up now. Wow, they've got... Uh, yeah, they've got incredible dexterity. I was not... I did not see that coming. Okay, is this the last Ottoman defenders on this map? I think it might be. The cannon has gone down, and the Brits are... They're, the problem is, is they're dribbling in one by one, and so long as they're dribbling in one by one, they're just gonna get shot in the face, and they're not gonna get up here. It's it's a sad story, but unfortunately, it is the reality. Okay, come on, boys. You can, you can get round there. You can get round there, I believe. I tell you what, actually. Do these things fire on the move? Can I just... Can I just bring an Anzac cannon with me? Wait, hold on a second. Can he actually fire from up there? Oh, that was a pretty interesting end to the battle. Again, the hand is absolutely terrifying, but there we go. World War One Gallipoli. If you want to play that World War One Gallipoli map, then this is the map and thumbnail you're looking for. Now, you'll also see from all of these maps over here, yeah, I've got a lot of content on the tabs map creator that I still need to record. If you want to see any of these battles, then make sure you subscribe. Now, there's another World War One trench map on the tabs map creator that I want to play. This one here. Soldier War Day Plastic Scott. I can't remember why this is good, but I seem to remember it being very good. Right, let me remind myself. Okay, yes, it's just really detailed. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. There's just a lot going on here, to be honest, and I quite like it. it it's interesting. I wonder how the pathfinding works on this battle. So, what we're gonna do, let's do, like, Ottoman bayonets there, and we'll stick some around the corner here. Some over there, some over there. Let's just get, yeah, you know, you kind of, you get the picture right? It's quite a lot of bayonets. So that is 100 Ottoman units in the trenches. Now let's get 100 British units dotted around the map as well. Okay, so that is 100 Ottoman bayonet units and 100 British bayonet units. So let the battle begin. And again, look at the complexity of the pathfinding here. There's just going to be battles all over the place. It's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. There's just battles and reinforcements all over the place. Just when one team starts winning, more units on that position turn up. To be honest, we've actually missed the majority of these battles down here. Oh, let's see. And Okay, they won underground. The Brits are winning down there. And I think the Ottomans are going to come round to meet them. Oh, no. The Brits have taken the advantage over there as well. Where are the Ottomans winning? The Ottomans appear to be... No, they're... I think the Brits are... Oh, look at the look at the officer unit there doing a lot of work. Yeah, the Ottomans are winning on this side here. It's about even in the center, but the Brits take the center. Yeah, with more reinforcements on the way. But the Ottomans, again, even more reinforcements just turning up. This is why a map with this kind of complexity when the pathfinding works which for the most part other than this small bit here this is the only letdown but they do get up there it just takes them a wee while they are moving okay this is the ottoman officer calling in some artillery support right here and he does also have a gun okay let's see if the bayonet guy can it this is like a, a david versus goliath moment right here oh he's got a saber stuck oh did he just- I think the Ottoman officer just killed himself with his own artillery, so F and chat for him. Ah, uh, that is not how you hold a spear. Wow! They killed each other. Good effort, lads. And there's really not many units left. on where did these reinforcements just come from? Where on earth did all these guys just come from? Uh, I think that's a- that's a sad way to go. Ooh! It might have been a mess of play, you know? Oh my god, go on, son! Oh, I think these guys are also stuck, so let's see if they are put to sleep by the Ottomans. That might be the last British unit, you know? No, I was wrong. This one is... Wow, okay. Yeah, the Ottomans win that. Not gonna lie, though, that was a pretty spicy battle. Very fun map. It's not like your average World War I trench map. There's a lot more going on, but it kind of works pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this one a... Oh, actually, this looks like a nice little defense. Verdun. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got like a, the trenches here are nice. A zigzag trench is a nice bit of attention to detail here. So I guess we just get like a crazy bayonet charge over this side. And then there's a, I love a tunnel. I'm a simple man and I like simple things. I like bridges, I like tunnels and um, yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> that, that's about it. So let's get, uh, let's get rid of the Ottoman faction and let's get ourselves a cheeky, let's get a cheeky German faction down here, shall we? Ah, okay. So oh, I like this. So they're only actually tall enough to shoot when they're standing on these little bits here. We'll get a German soldier on every single one of these and then we'll get stay banners behind them and bayonetters ready to receive the enemy. Delicious. Oh, let's get ourselves a couple of like, uh, yeah, let's get like a couple of German uh, like cavalry units sallying forth to meet the enemy charge. You know what? There's this juggernaut unit, right? And I know this is strictly speaking not going to be particularly historically accurate, but I, I, I really don't care. Uh, I think it could be interesting to stick this guy in here as like a last line of defense, basically. Okay, so that is 115 German defenders. On the other side, let's get the French army. Right, and let's give them, let's just drop in a Gatling gun or two, just because they're here and the units are nice, I guess. And then let's also just get, like, so let's make this like a melee only, well, minus the Gatling guns, of course. But I mean, look at this. This is going to look interesting. Right, let's see how this works in slow motion. Basically, because if I didn't do it in slow motion, well, I'd get no frames and it wouldn't make for... Oh, actually, maybe I'd get okay frames because the French haven't actually got guns. Okay, let's speed things up and see how this does. Yeah, I hope you like slideshows. Okay, wow. Uh, whatever happened down here, the, uh, there was just an absolute French swarm. That was absolute carnage. Now, let's see how these guys are doing. Okay, they're holding formation, but over here, the trench has been raided by the World War I French army. Now, the cavalry charge over here is actually holding these guys out in the middle of the map, which is going to allow the Germans to kill them if they are not careful. I'll tell you what, the French soldiers are running out of steam here. I don't know if they're going to be able to win this, which is tremendously interesting to me, considering they were at like a 40,000 point advantage, which I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> oh, okay. No, yep. The, the 40,000 point advantage is, is, is beginning to become a little bit more evident. Okay, I want to see what happens here. Can these boys, can they get in here? And more importantly, can he? Nah, this, okay, I was going to say, I thought that guy was actually going to kill all of them. Can these units defend themselves? Oh, was that a small head that we just saw get clobbered to death? I think it was. Yes! Die, nerds. Okay, let's see how the officer and these other few units do. Remember, we have also got this juggernaut with a blunder baby in the corner. The French army are going to be hard pressed to kill these guys, but if they take down, oh no, if they, oh wow, these, uh, Okay, there we go, there we go, okay. Oh, oh, wow, things just got out of hand very, very quickly. I was about to say it looks like the French are running out of steam, but just as well I didn't. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, though. This juggernaut dude is actually doing a number, though. Oh my god, if he wins this, this is going to make so many people on YouTube upset, and the comment section is going to be hilarious. It's all going to be like, oh, it wasn't even balanced, it wasn't... Oh, okay, no, he's dead. Did I say subscribe already? If I, if I, if I didn't, then uh, subscribe, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>